Um, we thank God for this morning and for this time of prayer. We, we are looking at the book of Philippians chapter 2, a familiar text. Philippians chapter 2, a um, very interesting passage. Uh, Paul says here, therefore, if you have if we have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being, like, by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and one in mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. In your relationships with one another, have, <coughs> excuse me, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his adv own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Um, when you read other passages, you will realize that the verse 5 says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Verse 7, he rather, he made himself nothing. He emptied himself. He poured himself out. Uh, he was willing, he willingly, voluntarily poured himself out. When you look at our relationships in the family, they take a lot of energy, mental energy, sometimes physical, but what is more painful is the mental energy that we invest in the family relationships. And uh, that mental energy, uh, it needs to be renewed. We get tired at the point of giving up on a child, on a point of giving up on a spouse, on a point of giving up on uh, relatives, on in-laws. And uh, the love that you give, the attention that you give because of that uh, emotional attachment, because of the relationships. You, you feel like uh, giving up, you walk, you, you need uh, endurance, you need, you need uh, strength to carry on at times. And the Paul says, let this mindset be in you. Let this attitude be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who was God and came down to where we are and lowered his position. When we look at where Jesus was, was before he became man and where he was as he was a man, the difference was, give, was big. There was a vast difference from that glory to, uh, to this wretched life of planet Earth. That was too big to become a servant. Became a servant of all and continued to be a master of all. He became a servant and a human being and still remain God. He became a servant to serve so that those whom he served could see his glory, his personality, his attitude, his mindset, and thereby be embraced and be engulfed by his presence. He wanted to make a difference. The point I want to make this morning, for Jesus to pour himself out and uh, so that he becomes enough on a daily basis, he had to be connected to the divine power, to God as a human being. He had to be connected so that uh, his, his, uh, as a stream of living water, he will not run dry. He had to be connected so that he has energy on a daily basis, that he could rise up and have energy. And uh, during the day, he will be spent. He will be pouring himself out. He will be emptying himself. He will feel like uh, one 
energy is coming out of himself, going to human beings. And some of them will not be appreciative. There will be insults and scorn and ridicule, uh, a lot of put downs upon Jesus Christ. But on a daily basis, he will have energy. He will have more than enough, more resources, surplus. He will be fl flowing over. He will be emptying himself, giving himself out, pouring himself out. And uh, he will be tossed to and fro uh, by winds of circumstances. And he will be willing to bend with uh, the floor without breaking down because uh, he was a living reed of life. He was a fountain full. And uh, Jesus says that when we are connected to him, we become streams of living water that will not run dry because we are connected to the mother stream of living water. So that we don't run out. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't quit from loving and caring. We don't quit. We don't run out of our endurance and stamina to run this race. Because the race of being a family member and also in this race of being a prayer warrior, to be a Christian, it takes you, it takes something out of you, substance of life from you. It saps your energy. It takes more out of you. And we wonder sometimes as we wake up from day to day, as we be, continue to be a son, continue to be a daughter, continue to be a father or a mother, to, to continue to be a husband or a wife, to be a, a, an in-law, what does it take? Takes a lot of energy from you. And uh, the more relationships you have, the more they will take from you. And sometimes even sicknesses, disobedience of children, wayward spouse who was a Christian now has left. And uh, you are wondering where is God when things are like this? It takes energy, emotional energy. And the Bible says, let this mindset be in you, this attitude be in you of service. Let this mindset be in you. And he continues to explain the mindset that he emptied himself and he could go the second mile. He could go the third mile. He could go the fourth mile because he was connected to God the Father who supplied, with, supplied him with energy to enjoy, to go on and take it more, and take it further, to be on, on his knees, to pray more, and to be conscious of God's presence in his life. As prayer warriors, as family members, as, who, as people who have relationships that take energy from us, as people who care about the sick relatives and friends that are in our neighborhood, whom we are connected with, and this takes energy from us. We need to, be, to have this mindset of connectedness with Jesus Christ so that we become, we are connected to the stream of living water that will refresh us on a daily basis, that will energize during the day, that our mindset is on Christ Jesus so that we will never run dry, never get tired of loving and giving ourselves willingly and we are told that after he willingly emptied himself, after willingly submitted himself, willingly humbling himself, God exalted him above every other name. That under the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. Those who empty themselves and love like Jesus and have a mindset like him, when he is exalted, they will be exalted with him from that humility. I pray this morning that we renew our strength emotionally, emotionally, that the word of God will sink in our lives so that we have endurance and energy and the mindset that we will not give up on the brother, will not give up on the sister as long as we live. And also in this mindset as human beings, it is a process that all the trials that we meet of sicknesses, of losing loved ones, of rejection and put downs, all that, not only do they bring pain in us, but they are working for our purification in our lives. 
that we see our blind spots where we lack uh, we lack uh, uh, patience, where we lack forgiveness, where anger and depression and anxiety are let to go on, to reign in us and they weigh us down, where we need to let go. And this mindset of Jesus Christ be in, in us, because when the, there were words that were said to him, when there were things that were done to him that were not good, he didn't let what the devil throwed, uh, uh, put on his lap to go and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, weigh him down. He let it go. He let it go. This mindset, let it go. Let go the pain. Let go the anxiety and the depression, the discouragement. Let it go. Because when they are staying in the heart and we let them to, to nest and we nourish them in our heart, Love cannot abide. Whatever we nourish, whatever we cultivate, whatever we let grow, will flourish in our soul. If we let anger, we let uh, unforgiving spirit, we let uh, anxiety and depression to nourish inside our heart, love and patience and forgiveness will not grow in that. They will be choked by those things that are negative in our lives. Whatever the devil throws at your lap, don't nourish it. Let it go. Whatever the, 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 the devil plants and wants to plant in your mind, don't nourish it. Don't cultivate it. Don't uh, 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 feed it. Don't water it. Let it go. So that the love of Christ, the, the patience, his love, his endurance, his stamina becomes ours. So that we nourish those things that are positive, those positive elements in our minds. We cultivate them. We let our minds settle on those things so that we have a mindset, an attitude of Jesus Christ. So that when each day, on a daily basis, every hour, we are renewed, we are nourished, we seem as if we are connected to the stream of living water that will never run dry. Our cup will be full all the time so that as we pour out ourselves, we are continuously renewed, uh, refinished by God's presence so that our energy endures. We can take more because we can give more because we are filled with the presence of God. Let this mindset be in you, a mindset of service, a mindset of giving ourselves, a mindset of seeing others being saved. And we are consistent in that mindset of not giving up, a mindset that is connected, a mindset that is willing to empty himself or herself for others for their salvation, a mindset to look at the interests of others. We can continue with that mindset and that stamina with endurance once we are connected and refreshed on a daily basis, where we let go of the negativity in our minds and continue on that mindset. I pray that this morning, and throughout the day, that this mind of Jesus Christ, this attitude will be our attitude. This mindset of Jesus Christ will be us. It will be for us to empty ourselves and to let go of the energy and the power of God to others while God is refreshing us and giving us more stamina and endurance in this journey. Relationships can be painful. Put downs can be painful. And if we hold the pain long in our hearts, it will weigh us down. It will cause depression, anxiety, anger, bitterness. But when we let them go out so that we are filled with the presence of Jesus, we'll have the energy and the stamina to go on. We'll be refreshed on a daily basis so that we carry on the mission of Jesus Christ. May God bless the reading of his, his word. May God empower us for the day. May God refresh us. May God energize us and uh, give us one more reason why we should serve him so that when the miracles come and people change around us and they see healing, but they have, there's first a change in us and healing in our souls, contentment that comes with obeying God, contentment and peace that uh, surpasses all understanding in the midst of the storms and struggles of life. We have contentment and peace that Jesus supplies 
energy in our lives. So we pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence this morning. This mindset, this attitude of Jesus Christ, we want it to be ours, that we are able to pour ourselves out and empty ourselves out because we are filled with your presence. We are connected to the stream of, of water that will never run dry so that our souls are not dry as we minister to our families, to our friends, to our relatives, as we go to work and minister to those who do not know you and they sub energy from us. May we be energized by the energy of Jesus Christ that will never be get, that will not be weary and tired because of that. We pray, oh God, in Jesus' name, that refresh us, energize us for the day, energize us for the rest of our lives so that we can go on without running out. Because we have said in your word that those who wait upon you, they'll run, they'll walk, and they'll not be tired or be, get weary because they are connected to a divine power. Connect us this morning and may we feel connected. May we stay connected. We want to thank you for hearing our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen.